Hey everyone, I almost forgot to make a Thursday update. I guess technically this is a Friday update because it is 2 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Um, but the end of my work day on Thursday, I don't usually work this late. I prefer to uh, have a work schedule where I basically start the day at 2 p.m., work until about 7, break for dinner, hang out with my husband, and my husband goes to bed and I work a little bit more from 11 to 1 so I did a little bit more work today than usual but I had a big day I had a big week I've had a big month it's been a lot there's just been a lot going on and I'm super grateful for all of it just amazingly grateful I don't know if you can hear my cat but there she is say hi cat Anyway, on to the Thursday update. Eating goals. Did it. On track so far. Doing good. There was a little bit of a, um, of a moment on Tuesday where I was like, oh God, what time is it? And literally I had to eat something in five minutes or I wasn't going to make my goals, but I did. Yogurt is a blessing. Um, yes, cat. The cat agrees. And uh, let's go into my updates. Let's see. What did I talk about my intentions be direct and with heart that is yes I have been doing that this week and feeling really good about it feeling really good about um you know telling people what I need and being nice about it obviously not having expectations of others or feeling entitled but definitely being clear about you know that work is important to me I always love more contracts and more clients and uh and that if people have copywriting work especially in my wheelhouse of trauma-informed communications um you know equity informed communications etc communication strategy then love to get it love to love to work with you love to work with clients that are like-minded in terms of equity and uh inclusion and dismantling racist systems even if it's scary that's my favorite type of person 100 percent. and that's the person i do the best work for honestly that's the person i make the most money for i make the most people for etc um on to my next thing um i'm looking at my script it's on the table make time for back burner stuff well a little bit yeah a little i did a little bit of it i didn't do as much as i wanted because uh, work kept coming in, which is great. It's great. Honestly, um, I had not done the math of our, our growth. I was talking to my, my coach and talking about how worried I was about September. You know, after I told y'all that I didn't want to get all in my head about September, I, of course, did that a little bit. Not, it didn't take the whole week over, which is very good. It's progress. Um, that I was talking to her about September and I was talking to her about, you know, I don't, you know, what if I can't do this thing? What if I can't make enough money on my terms, which are listening to my body, sleeping late, taking care of myself, taking breaks for walks and meals, prioritizing family, overworking. And she sort of was like, I think you're already doing this. I think you're already... Um, I think you're already doing the thing that you're afraid you won't be able to do. And I was like, nah, not really. Cause here's why, <laughs> here's why, here's me snatching failure from the fucking jaws of victory. Here's why I'm not really doing the thing I'm doing right now. And she was like, yeah, no, that's bullshit. I'm gonna call you on that. That's bullshit. We went back together. I looked at my, um, my invoices, my reports of, uh, of cash invoiced. I had a 667% increase of cash invoice July to August. And that was not, that was me meeting my eating goals. That was me taking care of family stuff. That was me making time for meals with my husband. That was me, you know, friends and family coming first, my health coming first. And also making enough money to live. Making enough money at this point, projections into September um, are looking really good. I mean, I've had a business. I've had businesses before. (laughs) 
you never really know what's going to happen day to day, but feeling really good right now. Really, really good. Um, yeah, I don't want to qualify that statement. I get, I get to feel good right now about this hard fucking work I've done and it's paying off. I'm allowed that and things will change in the future. And sometimes I will feel less good, but also today I feel fucking good. And that's, mm, just makes me happy. So there's that. And then my other intention was having an abundant mindset, realizing that everything I need is already here. Definitely been a part of my week this week. I mean, it's got to be honest, it's easy to have an abundant mindset when things are falling into your lap. I'm not going to lie about it. Um, you know, call me about my abundant mindset when uh, the next time things take a downturn. <laughs> we'll see how good I am at that then. And then the th- last thing was do the work and let go of the results. That has been easy and difficult at the same time. Obviously doing the work is easy. Um, you know, work is my safe space. Work is my little sanctuary. Doing the work is not hard. (sighs) Letting go of the results is not hard right now. I keep, I don't know if this is actually a healthy thing. Tell me if you think, but I keep reminding myself that one of the reasons everything feels so easy for me right now is because things are going well. Um, And also at the same time, you know, when things are not going well for me, I'm not getting contracts, I'm losing stuff, I'm losing clients, I'm, you know, unexpected expenses come out of the woodwork, all that stuff. When that's going on is when I find that I really hone those skills of like gratitude, abundant mindset, doing the work and letting go of the results. And then when things go good again, Sometimes I let go of that. Um, I don't have to hold on to that so tight. But also when things get good again, I still have that, that extra sort of like muscle that I built up when things were bad. And I used to be mad that I got lax when things were good. But now I, I really view it as, you know, there was a time when I really needed to flex this. And I did, and it, and it strengthened me. And there's not always going to be, I don't always have to be like, oh, really working on gratitude super hard. I think sometimes it's just going to come easy because um, certain things are, are working out right now. And that's down to hard work. It's also down to a little bit of luck. And, um, and also being able to recognize when luck is coming my way, and have worked hard previous to prepare to just grab onto that opportunity. Very important. So that's my week. That's my Thursday update. Y'all are going to see this on Friday. I hope you take good care of yourself. Take walks. Drink water. Talk to your friends and family. Take a meal away from your desk. Away from the room that the computer is in. Potentially, if that can happen... Maybe close the computer and put the sandwich on top of the computer. So you have to eat the sandwich if you want to open the computer again. That isn't, uh, that's a thing I do to myself sometimes when I can't leave the computer room. I will put food on top of the computer (laughs) and be like, you're not getting this until you finish this. So that's just a little trick I play on myself to eat my lunch. And things are hard. You can have that. Uh, put your, how did you do on your week? Put it down below. I will see you on Monday. Rest, restore yourself. You've been working hard. Stress is cumulative. We've been under this motherfucking bullshit, COVID bullshit, since March. It's about to be September. It is okay to be tired. It would be weird if you weren't tired. See you Monday, everyone.